Hello students, how are you doing today? I hope you all are fine and doing well. So here is our Bell Education fifth chapter. The name is Time is Precious. Yes, today we talk about time. As we all say that time, don't waste time, don't waste time, time is very precious. So why all call that? Why, why we all say that? So through this lesson, um, we learn the importance of time. And uh, why we call, uh, always uh, uh, say that keep, uh, time is precious because uh, the once the time is passed, it will never, never come again. That particular time will never come again. So through this lesson, we learn the importance of time. So let's start our chapter. So students, as you see on your screen, it's our fifth chapter of value education, time is precious. First, we start of a lesson. Uh, you all have to open your textbook of value education and open, please open the page number 16. It's the first chapter, Time is Precious. So, before the start of a lesson, I have to ask you a question. There is a Christmas party in your colony. You are busy playing. You get late for the party. Santa gives gifts to the children and goes away. You miss Santa and the gift. How do you feel? You feel sad, right? That happens because uh, whenever we miss our chance to get early, get up early, or uh, every time, every time whenever uh, we get late, we miss a chance, miss a particular chance. It may be a gift, it may be a new chance, uh, anything. So let's start our lesson. And our story name is Jimmy Gets Late. Jimmy has a school picnic for the next day. He does not pack his picnic bag. He plays radio games till late at night. Wow, I have won one more game. Like this, he plays continuously, plays, plays, play again and again. That's why he sleeps late at night. Jimmy wakes up. Late, he gets ready, he packs his bag. I hope I don't miss the bus. Because he's thinking, he knows that he must be, he definitely late, but he must be uh, missed his bus. Jimmy gets late, mommy tells him to hurry up. Jimmy, you are getting very late, you will Miss the picnic, I told you to sleep early at last night. Then Jimmy reaches school. Jimmy reaches school with Ramu Kaka, the bus, the bus has left. Jimmy goes to the guard. So the guard says, Jimmy, you are late again. So the bus has just left. You see, in few minutes, uh, the bus is gone. Jimmy starts crying. How will he uh, go for the picnic now? He has to go back home with Ramu Kaka. The Ramu Kaka says, Jimmy, Baba, don't cry. Just be careful next time. Now that Jimmy reaches home, he is very sad. Definitely, he is sad because the reason is he missed the chance to go picnic, right? 
Mummy, today I have learned a lesson. I will never be late again. So you see, now students, as we all see and learn through this chapter, Jimmy gets late. So, uh, and we all uh, know about the reason, right? So now it's time for questions. You just have to write. Uh, in these columns, yes or no. That's it. Now our first question is, Jimmy sleeps late. Yes, you have to write here, yes. He wakes up early. No, he misses his school picnic. Yes, he does his work on time. No. He promises never to be late again. Yes. Time to think. Now it's a poem. Interesting poem, right? You have to repeat after me. Wake up, Jimmy. The poem's title is Wake up, Jimmy. Wake up, Jimmy. Come out and see. The sun is shining bright and clean. Leave your bed. Look at the time. Don't be lazy. Rise and shine. Interesting now. Huh? Now repeat again after me. Wake up, Jimmy. Come out and see. The sun is shining bright and clean. Leave your bed. Look at the time. Don't be lazy, rise and shine. Yes. So students, don't be lazy like Jimmy. You waste your time when you are lazy. Do your work on time. Use your time well, then you will have lots of time and work and play. So discuss. Now we don't uh, discuss in class, but this is an opportunity to discuss with your parents and family members. So discuss in this topic, uh, what will happen if we wake up late in early morning? So now our second, next question. It's a timetable. It's time for a reality check. We trouble others when we don't do our work on time. For example, if the school bus driver doesn't come on time, you will get late for the school, right? Now, circle the person who will trouble in the given situation and discuss why. The first, the doctor comes very late to the hospital. So, who gets trouble, patients or guard? Circle the right one. Yes, patient. If doc a doctor comes late uh, every time or once, even once the to the hospital, the patient gets trouble. Okay, the second, the teacher comes late to school. Who affect this? Effects happen on peon or students. A direct impact and effects if teacher comes late to the school happen to students. The right answer is student. Third is the delivery boy brings Kate late at your birthday party. So who affect in this situation? Your friends or your principal? Yes, your friends. Your team loses a turn because you are late. So, who affect in these situations? Empire or team members? Yes, your team members. Again, quick check. First, doctor comes very late to the hospital, affects patient. 
second the teacher comes late to the school affect students third delivery boy brings cake late at your birthday party affects your friends fourth your team loses a turn today because you are late so affects team members right you have just circle on this verse like this okay so our next question what will you do in that given situation just mark a tick right tick not both of them on the right one first question is your grandmother gets a new video game for you you have school the next day what will you do okay the first option is play for some time and then go to sleep you don't want to wake up late and the second option is play the game at night and sleep late so which one is right yes definitely the first one is right you have to make a right tick here second question is your friend has to pick up for pick up you for the school what will you do watch cartoons at night and not be ready when your friends come or second option pack your bag and polish your shoes at night wake up early and get ready on time so what do you think yes the second option is right pack your bag on time polish, uh, polish your shoes at time uh, at night wake up early and get ready on time always important because it's importance to value our time now our next question is put together you have a timetable in school right you all have a timetable now we uh, also following if you uh, didn't go school you also follow our pattern a timetable right so it happens uh, it helps you to do work on time imagine what will happen if there was no timetable discussed with your teacher now you don't have a uh, discuss you don't have the option to discuss with your teacher uh, the option is why now uh you discuss this with your parents or your siblings okay or your family members so here's our timetable it's a page number what will the page number is yes it's a page number 20 you have to open it see this is a timetable now fill the given timetable to do on the work at home now in the next chapter next page right here in front of this timetable page number 21 it's a blank sheet right written in time monday to friday saturday sunday in our page number 20 as you see in your textbook and your screen also it's a time time column is written up time 6:30 am 7:30 am so there's a time schedule and monday to friday what will we do go to school in school so it's a time table or weekly time table monday to friday then saturday then sunday what are we doing um, in this time now you just have to write what are you doing now in this period in this time what are you doing so write here a time in particular time for example uh like in page number 20 wake up and get early so here the first column you have to write the time you get get up and ready so it's not maybe like this 6:30 or 7 or maybe early 6 so it's your option so 6 we take at 6 am eh? 6 am and then the second column monday to friday what will we do what we all do wake up and get ready right and then saturday sunday we are now we are doing same same schedule we follow right so get ready get ready and get ready like this 
there's the example uh, you can take help with uh, for your parents uh, your elderly sisters a sister brother if you have or your family so it's all about this lesson now you have to listen this video carefully and repeat that poem we learn no that poem particular poem a two to three time and read the lesson carefully and do exercise in your textbook only thank you